now joined by Coach John Scott Jr. We stole you out of the state of Georgia, and we've also stolen about five recruits in this signing class. Welcome to Lubbock. How's the transition been? Transition's going great. I'm excited to be here. Can't say that I've seen a lot of Lubbock because we've been out recruiting, but I'm excited to be here with this staff and on board at Texas Tech. Been quite the change from Georgia? Uh, a little different. <laughs> More people wear cowboy boots out here, I'll say that. I have no doubt. <laughs> well, let's talk a little bit about that class first of all. You were just, we were talking off camera and you said it's going to be huge with the press that we will get in Atlanta signing five guys. What does that mean on the recruiting trip? Uh, I think that definitely helps us, uh, puts our program out there more nationally. Uh, the big thing is Atlanta's recruited heavily like Dallas and Houston. You have everybody coming in there. So to be able to come in there and get five big time kids out of the state of Georgia, at Atlanta area, that's huge for this program. You'll be in charge of the defensive line. Lost a couple guys from last season, but you've got Kerry Hyder, backbone of that line, coming back along with Delvon Simmons and Danelle Wesley. You're going to add to that too, namely Demetrius Alston. What kind of impact can he come in and have come fall? Well, Demetrius is a uh, big time kid. He's a 6'3", 6'4", 265 pounds, and he can play the tackle with the defensive end spot for us. Very athletic, very quick kid. Uh, glad to be that he's coming here. He can come in and provide depth for us right now, and who knows, maybe compete for a starting spot. So excited to get him in there. He could be an impact guy for us. Another one of your kids, Zach Barnes. Uh, talk a little bit about him. Zach, we were really fortunate to get on him. He uh, decommitted from Tennessee and uh, he reopened the recruiting process and was able to go in there and get him. He's a good looking cat. He's about 6'3", 235 pounds, and he's going to play our bandit position for us. And he is really explosive off the edge. Really excited to get Zach in the program. What have you seen over the years that's the biggest transition for some of these guys, even if it's just coming from the JUCO level to D1 or high school to D1, the biggest transition for them? Uh, I think the biggest transition is just adjusting to the, uh, the athleticism and the talent that you're going to see. I mean, every kid in the program here is a good football player. Every kid was the captain of their team. They were the star of their team. And just having to adjust to a, a whole group of 85 kids on scholarship that are really good football players and coming and blending in and learning the system and competing with those guys. You're having a little bit of adjustment of your own. Talk about getting to know Coach Kingsbury, this staff, and getting going around here. Uh, it, it's great. I mean, the guys were great here. It is kind of funny because I really didn't know anyone on the staff. That's, you're one of the only ones that doesn't know everyone. Else. Exactly. I mean, all these guys have known each other and played with each other. So having the opportunity to come in, these guys have welcomed me in. And I tell you what, we feel like we're brothers already. feel like I'm a part of the group. So it's been fun. I'm sure that will translate on the field, too. We're, we're happy to have you. Thanks for joining me today.